search for a man named Jim Sonnet. And the legends folks tell may be true. Most call him gunman and killer. He's my son, who I hardly knew. I raised Jim's boy from the cradle. Till the day he said to me, I have to go find my father. And I reckoned that's how it should be. So we ride, Jim's boy and me. have been dreaming. It was real. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it seems that way. It was my pa. He killed him. He killed Paul. Who killed James? I couldn't see his face. But you could see your pa's face? Yeah. I guess I must have put too much chili in them beans last night. Oh, it isn't funny, Grandpa. Don't mean it to be, boy. Now you go on back to sleep. You'll feel better in the morning. We gotta go there, Grandpa. Go where? To Paul. He needs us. Jeff, it was just a dream. It happened. What's gonna happen? We gotta go there. There? There don't exist, son. It has to. I've seen it. It was too real. We gotta find it. You best forget it, boy. I can't. It was just a dream and a bad one. It was real, Grandpa. Now, Jeff, we got good information. Your pa's maybe in Willow Springs. A few more miles, we'll be able to find him. So you just put this foolishness out of your mind about a man being in a tower and a bell, and your pa being shot down in the street. Where are you going? That's the bell, Grandpa, the same one. I heard it before. Come on. What is this place? This is Toccata, senor. A very nice place. This is the place, Grandpa. It's the town I saw in my dream. Oh, Jeff. I don't believe in dreams no more than I believe in ghosts or, or nothing that ain't real. Now listen to me. I got it all figured out. Last night, the air was cold and clear, more than usual. Somebody rang that there bell and you hear it in your sleep. All these settlements has got a church and a vesper bell, and they're all alike. This one's the same as 20 others we've seen in the last few months. Now, there's your logical answer. So where are you going? To look for Paul. We looked for him in Willow Springs. He's here, Grandpa. Or he's gonna be. All right, boy, if you gotta look, if it'll make you feel better, go ahead and get it over with. You'll find me waiting under that there tree when you're ready to move on. <laughs>
this fella you're looking for, he got a name? Well, the name don't matter. Now, lots of men drift through this place, son. Man you described could look like any of them. Well, thanks anyway. Sure. You got a minute? For what? Sit down. Might be worth your while. Hey, you're looking for Jim Sonnet. Who told you that? Nobody had to. I've seen you wandering around town from the questions you've been asking. Sounded to me like Jim Sonnet. Keep your ears open, do you? I try to. What's your name? Jeff. Just Jeff. Look, you got something to say. Get to it. I got nothing special to say. Just that I've been around this town for a week and I'm getting bored. I'm looking for some action. What kind of action you got in mind? Let's just say I'm running low on funds. I never was a man fond of honest sweat. What makes you think I mind honest sweat? Just a guess? What well, goes to show you? Show you what? That a man can guess wrong sometimes. I thought you were leaving this morning. Don't be so anxious, Chafee. Not good for a man of your age. Not anxious, Judd. Just curious. Well, maybe I got something you ought to be curious about. Have you now? Did that kid tell you his name? I didn't ask. Well, maybe you should have. He's been looking for Jim's sonnet. He told you that? I heard. I'm curious as to why. Why don't you ask him? Tried to, but he's not that talkative. That maybe he opened up for you. You want to know anything about that boy? You're going to have to find out by yourself. It's none of my affair. You know something, Sheriff? Sometimes I think you turn your back on trouble deliberate. Nothing as nice as a nap in the sun. Yeah. Comes with gray hair. Passing through? Trying to. Uh, well, it's a dead town. About ready to ride out myself. Uh, which way are you heading? Ain't decided yet. You know, uh, you look kind of familiar. We ever met before? Not that I recollect. Sure we did. Well, anyway, it's been nice talking to you, Mr. Uh... Me too, Mr. Ready to go now? What did he want? Oh, he's just poking the time of day. He's trying to find out who I was in the saloon. Well, some folks is curious. But there's something about him, Grandpa. It's like I've seen him someplace before. Possible, possible. He was just saying I look familiar. He gives me a strange feeling. Then let's ride on, huh? No, not yet. Not till I get the answer.
seen enough, mister. World's just full of surprises, ain't it? So I've heard, yeah. You know, I never figured uh, Jim Sonnet to have any kinfolk. You know so much about me, maybe you better just tell me who you are. Give it to me. Sure, sure, why not? He was getting kind of noisy. He was going through our saddlebags. You seem mighty determined to mix into our business. What's going on here? Oh, just getting acquainted with our visitors, Chafee. Well, you're going about it in a mighty dangerous way. What happened? Nothing happened, Sheriff. Just a little misunderstanding, that's all. No need getting all exercised. I'll take that drink now, if it's all right with you. Sure. Sure, it's fine with me. I'll be back now, Paul. Something don't add up here. Well, I just stopped a nap a while myself. Can't be too careful. Yeah, especially if you're Jim Sonnet's kin. Especially if you're his son. Well, that's the reason you did the turnabout when the sheriff got too close. You were afraid I'd tell him who you are. See how smart you are? If I was real smart, I'd find out what you and the old man are doing here. Suppose if I didn't tell you, you'd hang around and find out. I suppose I would. You said you were looking for some action. That's what I said. The well, truth of the matter is, we are too. We? Me, the old man, and my pa when he gets here. You offering to let me join you? Well, you don't give me much choice. Well, that's one way of looking at it. What do you got planned? I'll let Paul tell you when he gets here. He's riding in at 3 this afternoon. Uh, I get to meet the famous Jim Sonnet. I'll talk to him first, see what he says, and then I'll look you up. I'll be here. I'll let Paul tell you that when he gets here. He's riding in at 3 this afternoon. Figured out. Boy went out for a short ride. He got up in the tower with a rifle and pulled down on him. Thought our fight was over. Looks like he carried a grudge. Never did get his name. Name's Judd. Tom Judd. He's a bounty hunter. A bounty hunter? Yeah. He came through here two days ago on his way to Willow Springs. He was trailing some fella. He say who? Outlaw. Name of Jim Sonnet. You heard of him, of course. 
Who you have a name sounds familiar. Judd said that you were asking about Sonnet yourself. I wonder why you'd say a thing like that. Yeah. I wonder. Well, unless you got any need for us, we'll be heading out. No. No need. Which way are you going? Oh, Willow Springs, maybe. Nice place, I hear. It's shorter if you cut across country. Easy riding all the way. Thank you. I knew he was familiar. Oh, who was familiar? Bounty man. What are you saying? You seen him before? He's a man of my dream. Maybe it's foolish, Grandpa, but if this hadn't happened, I feel my Paul would have ridden in there someday, and that man would have been waiting for him, just like in my dream. What's your whittling? Pistola. What's a young fellow like you need a pistol for? Outlaws. I heard a fella got shot here yesterday. Wasn't you, did it? Not me. Besides, he wasn't an outlaw. He was a bounty hunter. Named Tom Judd. How'd you know that? Well, that was a rumor going around Willow Springs. Mr. Judd was looking for an outlaw named of Jim Sonnet. Oh. I heard about, uh, Sonnet. Sonnet's one of the worst. That's so? Sure, everybody says so. Yeah, I wonder how they can tell. Probably can tell just by looking. Oh. This, uh, Tom Judd. How'd he get shot? He tried to kill some fellow he thought was Jim Sonnet. And the fellow's friend killed him instead. Well, looks like Jim Sonnet owes his life to those two, huh? Whoever they are. Guess maybe he does. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Someday maybe I'll do it. Do what, son? Kill Jim Sonnet. Yes. You might have that. Ask around some more, Grandpa. No, let's just accept it. It was a false alarm. James ain't here. Oh, but he may have been here. Well, that fellow down at the stable said he thought... Oh, he thought, he thought. Well, thought ain't good enough. And I figured that dream meant something, Grandpa. Well, that bounty hunter wouldn't have found him here anyway, even if we hadn't have stopped him in Takata. Well, look at it this way. There's one less gun pointed at your paw. See? Maybe there was something to that dream after all. Maybe. Dear Lord, I'm grateful. 
grateful James was spared. I know Jeff's grateful too. It could have been the way he dreamed. Maybe the dream could come true.